right, we're gonna meet your competitors now. Introducing first, he looks like the guy inside the Big Bird costume, Stephen Bowles. <laughs> And his opponent, I would say he looks like a cuck, but you need to have sex with a girl to be a cuck. <laughs> Dave Sheehan! First round is going to be four jokes, tip for tat. Which one of you two wants to start us off? Dave's kicking us up in round one, Fight Club. Two of the fucking best, I'm super excited for this. What do you say? Are you ready for this fight to start? Yeah. Four jokes starting with Dave, round one starts now. Round one. Stephen Bowles, you albino confederate muppet. <laughs> you look like you refuse sex unless it's in a beanbag chair. <laughs> First blood. Suicidal giraffe. Uh, Dave works with kids. Save your pedophile jokes, all right? He's the mannequin they use to make wigs when I donate hair. <laughs> Stevens originally from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Before starting comedy, he worked selling giant we're number one foam fingers at clan rallies. <laughs> Jackpot. Dave, I appreciate you taking time out of your very busy schedule of trying to kill Harry Potter to be here tonight. Uh, I'm sorry. Get I over to, here! I didn't mean to dead name you. He who shall not be booked. All right. <laughs> Steven looks like he skateboarded out of his mom's cervix at birth. <laughs> oh, wow. And he uh, looks like he drives a van that folds out to a futon. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lex. Loser. Uh, <laughs> that reminds me, if you're here, who's sitting in front of a fireplace stroking a cat? <laughs> okay. Stephen was, uh, Stephen was once arrested at a BLM protest. He was very disappointed to learn that BLM does not stand for Bud Light Matters. <laughs> Toasty! Oh, my God, that was great. Thank you, Hannibal Lectures Women about Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> Dave is actually not a villain. He's more like James McAvoy from Split if he was cured from any personality at all. <laughs> I like the reference. Fight Club, give it up for round one of your main event. <laughs> Karen VM, we'll start with you. You don't have to pick a winner yet, but after round one, who do you think has the advantage? I don't think, I think that's an unfair question. Um, <laughs> Or just your thoughts on the phone. Just make fun of these two idiots. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're giving me like PTSD because you're giving me like theater teacher vibes and it's like really upsetting. Um, you're okay, I guess. I'm just a little worried that you're gonna faint. <laughs> like at any moment. I feel like somebody should get him like a juice. Is Jared still here? <laughs> he took half the audience home with him. Yeah, what a piece of shit. He's fired. Yeah, I, no clear winner yet, Matt. Okay. <laughs> no, what happened was um, after they saw Jared, they all left. He chased after them to make sure they're following him on Instagram. <laughs> Dalton Pruitt, your thoughts after round one? Which, which one? This one. Yeah, this is uh, this is going okay so far. I don't know. This is freaking me out. This is like light and dark. You know, like Steven, you're you're the light. You're the hippie. A man this of the is Doctor Evil. I don't even know. Dave is like you look like a like a lab experiment. <laughs> you look like you escaped whatever the containment facility that kept you from the rest of humanity, and now Steven has to bring uh, good vibes <laughs> to. <laughs> no. This... All right, guys. So forgive me. I. Uh... <laughs> Edible kicked all the, the way. Huh? The edible. Look, let's not even talk about the edible. No. Right? We don't even talk about that. My point is, Dave looks scary, but Dave, Dave so far has really solid jokes. Steven, you just have good vibes, dude. This is tough. This is tough. It's good vibes versus uh, evil jokes. <laughs> evil jokes. Okay, Rob Mayhew, your thoughts. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't, you know, this, you're doing a good job so far. I, let's just make fun of your clothing. I, uh, I appreciate your, I like that you're wearing hiking shoes for a hike you've never taken and skateboard shoes for a skateboard you don't own. So that's a cool start. That is, I hope those melt in the sun one day on you. Uh, I hope you know, they horribly disfigure your feet because it's 83 outside. But um, yeah, I don't know. You're both doing a good job. I think you both look stupid. You know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Schroeder. I, lo I love Steven. He, this guy's great. I don't know uh, Dan. Uh, Dave, <laughs> clearly. But I do like that I can't tell if you have a stain on your shirt or you just remove the logo from your polo. That's you what I'm going for. Like. Okay, yeah. I, I didn't know. He Thank you. Being Thank you. The DJ said I was funny and nobody else laughed at it. So that's what he <laughs> Derek is his name. I'm sorry for calling you the DJ. His name's Derek. His name's Derek, everybody. He's not just the DJ. He does other things. What else do you do, Derek? The apostrophe Eric. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, good, good first round. I would I have it totally even through one round. Totally, totally even. even. Fight Club, we're going to move on to round two right now. What do you say? Are you ready to continue this main event? Yeah. Four jokes straight through. We started with Dave last time. We'll start with Steven now. Round two starts now. Round two. All right, man. It is an absolute honor to be here backstage and see the Blue Man Group without makeup. This is insane, man. <laughs> Uh, I know he looks particularly white. Dave actually comes from a mixed-race family. His mom's Italian. His father was a Newport 100. Uh, <laughs> Dave told me he was rather boring growing up, which is, like, impossible to believe. Uh, I wanted to call you a walking roofie, but at least a roofie makes one person excited. Another one. <laughs> last uh, joke. All right, last on a somber note. Dave's father passed away due to senseless violence. I mean, where do people even find a wooden stake? And another one. <laughs> Dave Sheehan. I want to thank uh, post-op Rapunzel for um, taking time away from writing his rock opera to be here tonight. <laughs> Steven looks like he wears a cape to go grocery shopping. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah! His wife is from Spain, or as it's known in Fredericksburg, Virginia, fancy Mexico. <laughs> wow. I said, give me a hell yeah! Was that guy throwing up? Uh, uh, people call him Jesus. Uh, not for his appearance, just because he's decent at carpentry and they hope he doesn't make it to his 40th birthday. <laughs> Perfect. Holy shit, Fight Club! We just kicked it up in round two. Give it up for Dave and Steven! <laughs> Glenn Orange this is Patrick Schroeder. What are you thinking after round two? That, that was... Dan really showed me something. <laughs> I could... <clears throat> sorry, I smoked. Thank you, weed. Phil. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> when you started talking, when you did the jokes about him having hair, I could really feel that you tapped into something real there, and I was with you. I was like, yeah, fuck this guy. I mean, I, I forgot that I have great hair, just, you know, how mad you are. That's right, rub it in. Hair. Uh, but, yeah, this, uh, my buddy over here is definitely, I, I, I'm, I'm putting him slightly ahead going into the final round, but... At, we can always go to a sudden death. You know that's on the table with me at all times. Well, every time Patrick's here, someone goes to a sudden death. Uh, fortunately, you haven't done it yet. This is the latest you've waited to force a fight into sudden death. I, I, Although we did make two people repeat their last joke again. That, con that, that was next level. I never even considered that. <laughs> Rob Mayo. Um, yeah, great. You, you kicked it up. It was already, you know, the, better, the best one probably so far. But, um, yeah, all right. I don't know. How long has it been since you had hair, by the way? Four or five years. Is that, how old are you? Probably the oldest person here. Yeah, that's, uh, I would have guessed that too, for sure. Um, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, is it, there is a, a th it doesn't like, I am, you know, I'm, I'm one of you. It isn't like, isn't there something inherently, I haven't had hair long enough. I feel like it feels gay. Don't, don't you think? Like, have hair... Well, now it does. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> having hair is gay? Is that what we're saying? Yes, I'm saying having, having hair is hair gay. Oh, I thought you said having no. 
No, no, no. I feel like just running your hand through. It's Everything one of the best things I ever did. Having hair feels gay to me yeah, now. It's just yep. like how I believe having a big penis is gay. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Um, which is why I was saying I, I think you're winning based on being gayer of the two of you. So, right. yeah. <laughs> Done, Pro Ed. Yes, I feel like I'm watching Emerald Lagasse because you fellas have indeed kicked it up a notch. <laughs> Kick it up a notch. Bam! 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 Kick it up a notch. Emerald. Lagasse. Remember Emerald? Dalton's gonna, Dalton's gonna know more about food than any of us. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, th- I, I enjoy this. I Wait, do. Is he dead? You said Emer- well, no, he's just irrelevant now. <laughs> I don't know. No, he's not dead. Who died? Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that's the other food guy. Yeah, Anthony There's Bourdain. There's a food guy for everything. Yeah, yeah, Anthony Bourdain killed himself. Right. For... Yeah. <laughs> Hillary Clinton got to him, yeah, too. Yeah, Hillary, yeah. Uh, yeah th- I, I enjoyed this a lot, and I, I am, I, I would like a sudden death, but I feel like if we go to sudden death, Dave might actually die. Because <laughs> he needs blood. <laughs> he, needs, he needs to feed. That was funny. That's what he meant when he says the oldest person here. He's three thousand years old. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for getting that. Yeah, as long as he has to get home to his coffin later. <laughs> so I, I love the vampire joke, Steve. That was funny. All right, yeah, this is good. Thank you, Karen Feehan. Um, yeah, unlike Steve's guitar, this battle is electric. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> See, Jared writes some jokes for Karen, too. <laughs> uh, the whole time I was more interested in this tiny hair that's growing out of Dalton's shoulder. <laughs> it's like dark. Long? Yeah. No, you're... Nothing that grows out of Dalton is long. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, you're funnier, and you remind me kind of of, like, Melissa Etheridge a little bit. <laughs> um, and I don't like her, so... <laughs> you're in the lead. Are we voting yet? No. no, we're gonna go on to round three. Fight Club, what do you say? Are you ready to pick a winner in the final round of this main event? Four jokes, tip for tat, starting with Dave. Round three starts now. Final round. I want to thank Steven for skipping his meeting at the Gay Magicians Alliance to be here tonight. <laughs> Headshot. Yeah, I'm old. I'm going to lose my memory. Steven looks like he has at least three different relatives named Skeeter. <laughs> thank you, Jeff Bezos, if he also peed in bottles. Uh, <laughs> Before the roast, Dave asked me what celebrities I usually get compared to, which is a pretty fucking lazy question for a dude who looks like his favorite sport is homework. <laughs> <laughs> Steven claims his heritage is White Buffet, not to be confused with David Duke's chain restaurant of the same name. <laughs> Dave, you look like Penhead just went through airport security. Last joke. No, 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 it was only two. Oh, oh, he wants to get more. out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Steven looks like the kind of guy who would organize a wet t-shirt contest at his family reunion <laughs> right after teaching his nieces how to cook meth in their Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> Dave Sheehan is proof that the lizard people live among us, but they aren't all successful. <laughs> Perfect timing. Last joke. Uh, Steven recently performed stand-up at a comedy club in Madrid. It was Europe's worst bombing since D-Day. <laughs> Dave's mother's name is Linda, and boy would I like to Linda come shot on her face. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up for your main event! <laughs> We'll go to your vote first, Fight Club. Do you think the winner of this main event after all three rounds is Dave Sheehan? Or is the winner of this main event Stephen Bowles? Really? I 
Ooh, crowd vote goes to Jeff Bezos if he stayed in space too long. <laughs> Patrick Schroeder, who do you think won this main event? I'm sorry, Steve. I thought it was closer than that. There should have been a smattering of applause. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't have won, but yeah. now I'm real. Now there's... tell us why you also think Dave won. Well, <laughs> there's also like 15 of us here at this point, so that's... <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dave won. Um, I like you better, Stephen. <laughs> I hope you won't take this personally. No. Okay, but uh, yeah, the clearly uh, he was he was funnier. Another vote for Dave Sheehan. Patrick learned his name. Rob Mayhew. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, well, gentlemen, thank you for writing two good rounds of roast jokes for us. Uh, I appreciate that. It's weird that you think he reminds you of Melissa Etheridge. Because I feel like David is the one that would come to your window. Thanks. That was, that was a pretty... Yeah. Most answer is my first concert, by the way. We're there now. Yeah. First concert. Darien Lake, New York. But anyways, um, I thought it was the opposite. I, 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 he might be winning me over on energy, Dave. I want to be honest with you. You might have written better jokes, but his general... And he doesn't... Are voting for Steven? I'm voting for Steven, I think. Wait, wait. If he's voting for Steven, I would like to rescind my vote for the end. I take back my vote, and I want to see how everyone else votes before oh, I vote. chess player, Schroeder. It's so exciting now. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one vote for Dave, one for Steven, but Rob, yeah. One vote for Steven, that's all. One vote for Steven. But then the crowd the went crowd for Dave. The crowd voted for Dave, so, so it's, it's one to one. Can I so vote for the DJ to punch Schroeder? Yeah, it was... <laughs> Um, anyways, I feel like you have like you you just you guess things wrong about Steve. He's not like he has long hair, but he's not like a methy hillbilly guy. He's a LARPing hillbilly guy. You know what I mean? Like he's a very clean cut, churchy type of fucking redneck. I think you just had the wrong type of redneck, and you probably don't know him. And I get it. So I, I just didn't feel like it vibed correctly with the type of fucking loser he is. You know what I mean? So, so it's one to one right now, Dalton. Yeah, I feel like we really. Um we really took it down a notch on this one. <laughs> what? Yeah. Your edible is kicking in is what's no, happening. I, no, I, the last round. The last, oh, the last round. The last okay. round. Yes. The last round was Emerald Agassi, and then this one was fucking Alton Brown. I mean, it was night and day. <laughs> fucking, what, what am I watching now? Barefoot Contessa? <laughs> Mario Batali? Paula Dean. Paula Dean. Hey, uh, I wish it was Paula Dean. Oh, <laughs> I would have been. I would have gotten an applause break at Fight Club. Yeah. <laughs> mm, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Pa how about uh, pa Paula D's nuts? <laughs> yeah. Is that uh, that was that everyone? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you thank him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, I, I mean, I, st I, I still enjoyed this, you know, in spite of, uh, everything. <laughs> and, Steven, you're, you're just a delight, and Dave, you're, uh, you're intense, but I still, you, did you, did you guys ever watch that Superman show, Smallville? Mm -hmm. Remember, like, in the last season, they were making, like, imperfect clones of Lex Luthor that died in a few days? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what you remind me of. Like a Lex Luthor clone whose heart's going to stop at any minute. But I like you, Dave. I like both of you. So, um, what's the score? One to one. My vote goes to uh, Steven. One vote, for C uh, one vote for Dave, two votes for Steven. Karen Fian. Yeah, they didn't really kick it up this round. They, they kicked it down. Mm. Kind of what I what I wish Dalton's dad did to his mom. <laughs> <laughs> you started. <laughs> what are we doing here still? <laughs> well, Patrick hasn't realized it's Yeah, wait, wait, yeah. wait. There was a good joke this round. Yeah. The Linda cum shot on your face. Yes. It was okay. It was, I liked it. Yeah, yeah. I liked it and I didn't like him the That's whole time. Cute, not methy. So, <laughs> it's also I'm, how Jared feels about Karen. <laughs> cute, not methy? No. <laughs> no, wait, take it back. Linda comes on your face. He wants to have sex. Ew. Uh, that was the joke. Uh, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> you should have little figurines like swing from your hair, like they're like little jungle people. That would be better than all this shit we had to sit through. <laughs> Dave won. Two votes for Dave, two votes for Steven. Patrick, it's on you to break the tie. This whole time, Patrick didn't realize there was an odd number of votes. <laughs> God damn it! Sudden death! Sudden death! Fucking Sudden Patrick. death! Fucking Patrick found a way to do it. Fight Club, we're going to overtime! <laughs> One joke apiece, fuck Patrick Schroeder. <laughs> we started with Dave last time, starting with Steven. One joke apiece, overtime starts now. All right, clap it up, clap it up. One more time from Mr. Clean from Heroin. Uh, <laughs> Dave's whole vibe, I feel like Dave's big break is gonna be a Pixar short of a dildo that watches all the other dildos get bought before him. <laughs> Should've saved that cum shot. <laughs> Steven looks like Shaggy quit the mystery gang to start the Nazi boy band Five Seconds of Swastika. Remember that cum shot thing? Patrick, it happens every time. Why'd you do it? <laughs> One more. One more. One more. <laughs> Dalton, who do you think won this fight? After overtime, after the whole fight, overall, who do you think won? First off, let me say... <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give it to Steven. <laughs> one vote for Steven, Karen Feehan. What makes you think that they have one more joke that's gonna be better? <laughs> uh, I mean, yours just sounded really just like heavy on the Nazi. It was like Nazi swastika, and I feel like you need like a rule of threes or something. Like if you were like Nazi swastika. Third Reich. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that would have like sold it. And yours was bad, right? I don't yeah. care, Matt, and I'm trying to. I'm fucking trying my hardest. Overall, who did, who Dave, did you like Dave, more? Dave, Dave, Dave. One vote for Dave, one vote for Steven. Rob Mayo. Karen's a fucking retard. Do you understand? <laughs> you just, to get us out of here, you vote for the fucking person who already has a vote, so then I can vote for the person who already has a vote, and this dipshit can't keep us here longer. You fucking nincompoop. See, so Steve, and then let's just tie it up and do it again. <laughs> two for... Why mistakes, Karen? It's two for Steven, one for Dave. Patrick, what do you say? <laughs> You know? <laughs> All things considered, I think I'm gonna have to give that round of dance. Oh, okay, okay. We have a crowd here that can break this tie. <laughs> Christ. Fight Club! Do you think the winner of this fight is Dave Sheehan? Or is the winner of this fight Steven Bowles? Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. Fight Club, give it up for the winner of this main event, Dave Sheehan. Yeah.